We have got the here we go from Fabrizio Romano about tossing Adarabayo. Now, I don't know what anyone thinks about this transfer, but do let me know in the comments because I'm about to say what I need to say. And when I say Chelsea have done some fantastic piece of business, free transfer for such a profile and player, who's also currently in London, so it's not like he's going to be unsettled and Premier League proven, it's good. Because you know what? We all know that Chelsea need to go and sell players you know they need to get that profit sustainability stuff all the way through you know making sure they are all clean and everything that us rival fans like to do is slate them about how much money they spend and flaunt all over the gaff whether it's for Enzo Fernandez or Caicedo of last season or the season before that they got someone on a free and on that free tossing right he plays for Fulham, or he played for Fulham. He came from Manchester City Academy. So he's from up in the north of England. And that man, Joe Shields, you know, he worked his magic once again. You know, something like for Cole Palmer. Um, he was the reason why Cole Palmer ended up going to Chelsea. And that's why that deal got done like that. And then obviously with Tosin, who used to work with Joe Shields and have a good relationship. And of course, that was the deciding factor in why Chelsea could easily you know, secure this deal. I'm not saying that Chelsea itself isn't somewhere where it'd be tempting over somewhere like Newcastle, but let's be real, there's levels to this game. Newcastle, Chelsea, Manchester United was interested at some point as well. There was rumours around Jason Wilcox um, having a word with him, a uh, former Man uh, Manchester City Academy manager, um, and obviously at Southampton, but Tosin has decided that he wants to go to the blue side of, of London. Um, and obviously... When they say it's a, you're just a bus stop in Fulham, <laughs> well, I mean, he's gone to that bus stop now. So for a guy like him with his profile, his profile is, what, six foot five. He's quite rapid. You know, he's really good in the air. And also he's a bit of a unit. You know, someone has to fill in the shoes for Thiago Silva. And there might not be a player that out there right now that could really fit in the mold of Thiago Silva's shoes because he... He, he brought a lot to that Chelsea team in terms of leadership, you know, passing out from the back and so forth. But Tossin is good on the ball, you know, or good enough on the ball, you know. The only issue I have with him, and I could say that's a little bit of a let's see, is when he turns, it does take an age. But, you know, with good training and good players around him, I'm pretty sure he will thrive in that role. There's a right centre-back role available at Chelsea. Is he going to be the starting centre-back? I believe so. I don't believe he's going to move from Fulham to somewhere where he feels like he's going to be on a bench. But at the end of the day, when you're at a club like Chelsea, there are standards and you have to fight for your place. You know, they even talk about like maybe even Elise going to Chelsea and you look at Cole Palmer like it's, don't get me wrong, Cole Palmer is, is easily a starting figure there and Elise might find it might be hard to even get in that team in case he does decide Maresca to go with a Cole Palmer right wing at some point. So, it's all about competition for places and competition is healthy. But when I look at Chelsea's back line, right, I look at there's a, you got the left side, you got Cole, we've got Badia Shile. And then when you look at the right side, you know, you still got uh, Fafana to come back and see what happens with him. Even though he was a big transfer and he's just had major injuries, it's just not happening for him. It might still not happen, but it could. And then you've got Axel Disaster, you've got the Sassy who I believe is not really in favour amongst most Chelsea fans that I've come across. And I wouldn't say he should be the starting centre-back either. And then you've got Chalaba. And this is why what this is what makes this transfer such a Chelsea piece of business, right? So you brought in Tosin. English, he played for the England youth. He hasn't had an in, international uh, call-up as of yet. But he's still representing England. So you've got that part out of the way as well. Because obviously you need a certain amount of British players in your team right especially when it comes to Europe but on that notice they got Chalaba and I thought Chalaba is I think he's fantastic Trevor Chalaba is a really really good outfit you know he covers the right hand side comfortably he's good in a back three and we've seen it towards the end of the Chelsea uh, uh you know season that he was very very comfortable in that partnership with I believe it was Badia Shile. but they're gonna sell him it looks like he's going to sell him. With Man United interested, I believe there's interest over from uh, a season as well over in Italy. Chalaba more than likely is going to get sold because that's pure profit at the end of the day from Cobham as well, I believe. Correct me if I'm wrong. Let me know in the comments what you believe about that. But, you know, Matt Law came out and said around 25 million, uh, sorry, 35 million to 40, that would be his price. But then on the other hand, some are saying they will accept something as low as 25. Maybe it might vary from team to team. But... If you get that out, 
and you've just got Tossin on a free. I'm not being funny. I'm not saying Chalab is night and day better than Tossin, right? But I believe they are around the same kind of, you know, mold, like in terms of ability. You know, they're roughly, I think Chalab is just like a year, maybe two years younger than him. They're not far apart in age. So it is a good transfer at the end of the day. And when you're going to get 25 to 30, maybe even 35 million on profit, I mean, that suits Chelsea to a T. And sometimes sacrifices have to be made to make sure that they get where they need to be. And obviously Chelsea want to be champions. Now, I don't know if you see Tossin being the outfit that's going to carry Chelsea to the next level, of course. Or is this just looking like it's a piece of business because it's easy to do and you need to do it? Do you Chelsea fans believe that he's going to be the starting centre-back? Do you believe he's going to be really, really good and be in that solid partnership? Who's going to partner him as well? Because when I think of someone like Tossin, I think someone like Levi Colwell will partner him. You've got someone that's really like nimble, good on the ball. His passings, uh, long range uh, diags are really good, like a Van Dyke. I think Colwell's got a lot of lot to grow into as well. And when you think about developing partnerships, I don't know if you lot rate Baddy Ashile, but I can really see in it being someone like Levi Colwell and Atossin. I think they complement each other quite a lot. You've got, you know, the one that's going to step out. Uh, a little bit more, maybe it'd be, probably be a tossing, and the one that will cover it is a Levi Colwell, or it could be vice versa. It's a bit like you look at partnerships back in the day, you look, think of like Rio and Vidic. You had Vidic, the hard man, the one that's going to outmuscle most people and go in for them strong tackles. And you got Rio who would bring the ball out and obviously split lines. See, that's I'm not saying that's this is going to be that sort of partnership, but you know, when you think of that, it complements one another. And I believe Chelsea have something really, really good going on. Um, it is that point where. Rivals will look at every single Chelsea signing and probably scrutinise it to a T, right? But I'm not in favour of that. I think Chelsea may have learnt their lesson. You know, they have identified what they feel should be going forward in, of course, Maresca. And obviously, Maresca likes to play a good brand of football, right? And we'll yet to see, obviously, it's going to be yet to know. We're going to see pre-season. We can get a little bit of a gist of what he wants to do and what he doesn't want to do. But... On that notice, for me anyways, personally, I'm quite interested to see how Tossin fits in and what kind of role he even plays. Because, you know, when you've got someone like Kukurea, maybe inverting, and then also you got other people as well. You you know, uh, you could Reese James could even do that role. Um, you've got multiple players that can actually do that role. Gusto is fantastic. You know, it might sometimes look like a back three because I've seen that in Mareska's build-up, you might see uh, like a 3-2-4-1, a bit like a Ten Hag overload. But on that note, it's, yeah, I'm very much interested to see where this goes. I'm very much interested to see where this goes. And on top of that as well, I don't know how lot, how curious you lot are to see it. But Tossin is an amazing, amazing signing. And you know what? You hijacked Newcastle. You washed away Man United. And you could probably say to them, oh, you're going to have to hold that one. You're going to have to hold that one for this time. But yeah, man, do smash the likes as well. We'll be doing other coverage of different transfers. Chelsea's first signing of the window pretty much sealed unless you want to count any others like youngsters and stuff like that. But do smash the like button. But Tossin, six foot five unit. Remember, he's got his good pace and he's for free, right? So in that notice, you've done something well for once in a bit.